in the best part of the week thursday night 8 o'clock pm with genius kids on air a show for kids and by kids being brought to you by genius kids development we are now a national franchise genius kids caters to the parents who want the best for their child those who seek to shape tomorrow's citizens those parents who want a well-rounded child who can excel in academics sports music arts and crafts and the most important life skill communication and public speaking we've been rated best of the east bay in services by the east bay express publication as well as the most likely place to find a silicon valley inventor we were also selected for over 75000 innovative business ideas in the country by time warner to be featured on cnnmoney.com as business visionaries who dare to dream We believe that in order to survive in today's fast-paced ever-changing world we need to create confident happy and successful citizens who will become future leaders our children are our future and their brains are like super engines waiting to be fired and ignited Genius Kids is the instrument of ignition and inspiration which has to be applied at the right time between the ages of birth and age 6. So stay tuned if you want to meet and hear our very own students report to you with oozing confidence, communication and of course personality. We will be right back with messages from our sponsors. Stay tuned. Little genius kid. Little genius. I'm the little genius kid. Come on, mom. It's time to go. I'm ready to pop and rock the show. My brain is wired. The neurons fired. I want to learn and I want to grow. Come on, dad. It's time to play. I'm ready to learn, so don't delay. Minutes are ticking. My brain is clicking. So off to school. We're on our way. Babies, toddlers, kids galore. The little genius kid is where we'll score. Moms can chill and surf the net. Chat, make friends or nap, you bet. Dad can read a paper or two, solve a puzzle, figure out clue. So come on, no need to think. My brain is wired to connect and sync. Read, sing, dance and learn. Excessive energy is what I'll burn. So off to the little genius kid. See the results, you'll be glad you did. Little genius, little genius, the little genius kid. Little genius, little genius, the little genius kid. Little genius, little genius, the little genius kid. Little genius, I'm the little genius kid. Little genius, little genius, the little genius kid. Little genius, little genius. The little genius kid, little genius, little genius. The little genius kid, little genius. I'm the little genius kid. Shreya, how come you are always so relaxed in class and so confident? Yar, you read so well. What do you eat? Akil, eat? Well, let's say some of my brain food comes from Genius Kid. Call Genius Kids today. Celebrating a new center on Mission Boulevard in Fremont. Call 510-659-9900 for a free trial class in preschool, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, after school, or public speaking. Call 510-659-9900. Hey, I am a busy gal. Busy at work, busy at home, busy at play. The last thing I need is to go to the dentist, find out I need a crown or something and then have to come back 3 weeks later to get it done. That's why I love Panu Dental Group. I'm talking single day ceramic crowns with digital molds. It's state of the art. No mess, no sticky molds, no temporary crowns. And there's more. They can do dental implants in just one day. Panu Dental gives you teeth in a day. perfect for a busy gal like me. Visit panudental.com for information on single day dentistry options. That's panudental.com. Whether it's dental implants, ceramic restoration or wisdom teeth surgery, we'll get you out in a single visit. Panu Dental Group, your multi-specialty family dentist. Visit panudental.com. San Jose, Fremont, Cupertino and Dublin. Call 800-360-9250. 800-360-9250. A free consultation is required to check if you qualify. Call 800 360-9250. Tune in to Financial Planner Investment Advisor Raj Bhadwal's interactive talk show Bay Area Third Eye every Thursday at 6 p.m. for all your financial needs, be it financial planning, real estate, insurance, retirement, or estate planning. Turn to the services of Raj Bhadwal of Bhadwal and Associates. You can call him at 408-835-0202 or email him at 835-0202 at gmail.com. Listen to Raj Bhadwal's Bayria Third Eye every Thursday at 6 p.m. Are you confused and tired of trying so many centers and not being able to find the right fit for your child? Maybe you need a fun and rich summer camp or an after school program that offers academics, sports, dance, music, acting, public speaking, arts and crafts all under one roof. And to add to the icing on the cake, a cute real school bus that can pick and drop off your child to and from school, home or genius kids. 
Would you like to enjoy delicious home cooked meals like yummy aloo parathas, creamy vegetable galore khichdi, fresh fruit salad and lots more? Maybe you have a child with ADD, dyslexia, autism who needs an extra special attention. Maybe you have a middle school or high school who needs to learn the ropes of speech and debate. Maybe you have an infant, toddler or preschooler that you would like to enroll. Well, where could you find this wish list? Of course, there are tons of preschools and after school programs, but let me ask you, how many of them have been featured on cnnmoney.com as a most innovative educational concept? How many of them have been nominated best of the bay by Crown 4 Television? How many of them have been featured nationally and globally for their success? Only one, and that is Genius Kids, an independent award-winning learning center founded on the philosophy of never too little to learn, a simple belief that every child is a genius and as educators and parents it is our responsibility to awaken the inner genius in each child. Call us today with campuses in Fremont, Ardmore area, Central Fremont, Mission San Jose, Fremont right across from Maloney College and a new location opening right next to Fremont Park Station and in Newark as well as San Ramon. We are here to offer you that extra special attention. However, due to an overwhelming response, please call us only if you want the best and nothing but the best for your child since we will settle for nothing less than that. Call 510-713-2431. That's 510-713-2431 or visit geniuskidsonline.com. Hello everyone and welcome back and it is Thursday night and you are tuned into the best radio station in the Bay Area KLOK 1170M and of course we're bringing you the best program Genius Kids on Air. I'm Miss Reno and we're back on Thursday night at 8 o'clock with an interactive program for you to enjoy. This is a show for family and for kids. So sit back, relax, turn off your TVs, turn off your iPads and iPhones and stay tuned to Genius Kids on Air. I have some exciting speakers for you today. We of course have our tech guru Mr. Ashmit who's going to be sharing some tips from the Silicon Valley as well as discussing um, the importance of time out or whether we should be giving time out to kids. We also have two students from the San Ramon campus who have successfully won a place in this show by writing a story. We'll be talking to Rithvik and to Simran. So, as I said, sit back, relax and let's begin with Ashmit. Hi Ashmit, how are you? I'm good. Hi, Ms. Renu. How are you? Good. I just saw you in the afternoon, and I'm talking to you again now. Did you have a good time at the sports camp? Yes, I had a very good time. Actually. Good. I know. I could hear you guys screaming. So anyway, let me ask you something. I know you always come back with some really good tech stuff for us. What do you have from, the, uh, from uh, Silicon Valley? What kind of juice do you have for us? I have gathered some latest tech news for all the kids who love new gadgets. I'm sure I'm not the only kid who watched Star Wars and then tried to move objects with the sheer strength and determination of my young mind. What I was missing was a force glove. Yes, listeners, you heard it right. The first, the force glove is a part of Uncle Milton's line of Star Wars science products designed to teach kids about science through Star Wars. It, it grants the wearer the ability to move objects without touching them. Isn't it cool, Ms. Reno? That is very cool, but let me ask you something. How much time do you spend on these gadgets? Because that's what I would want to know as a teacher. How much time do you spend on these things? Do you, are you, do you spend a lot of time? No. I, really, I actually spend only at least one hour. One hour a day? Um, yes. Your dad's being very kind with you, Mr. Ashton, but that's, of course, you're a good student. That is very cool. What else do you have to share with us? That's really cool what you just said. The, but the, there's a secret to this glove. The secret is that there is a magnet attached to the palm of the glove. Depending on which way you have the magnet set, the glove will either push or pull the target. Other news I have is for all the basketball lovers like me. Nike Company is famous for their sport shoes, and they have come up with a great new basketball shoe. It is called Nike Hyperdunk Shoe, with a little bit of technology added to it. It is equipped for four sen sensors in the shoe, so it can really measure your game. It tracks your Nike Fuel vertical jump and your quickness. You wow. now can compete easily against your friends. Do we know how much these shoes are by any chance, Ashmit? 
Any idea? They how haven't much come in the market how much? yet. They haven't come in the market yet. Oh, they haven't come in the market. So you're going to ask your dad to get you a pair? Yes. You are. So do you have to do anything to get a pair, or do you think your dad is just going to get them for you? Do you have to earn that, earn this special gift? I mostly have to earn the things that I really have. <laughs> really? That's really cool. So that brings us to um, talking about timeouts. You know, I'm glad to hear that you have to earn these things. What are your ideas on kids getting timeout? Do you think kids should get timeout in school when they misbehave, or do you think uh, the teachers should just um, write a note to the parent and tell the parent to discipline the child? What are your thoughts? I think that... Um, instead of giving a timeout, like, right away if they have done something bad, they might not know if it's bad or not. So you should first give them at least two warnings, and then they should give timeouts. So do you think that should apply to all the kids, including uh, older kids like yourself, or should that apply to just the little ones giving warnings? That should apply to the little ones, because big kids, they probably get in trouble when they were small, like, they... They take things and, like, throw them on the floor. Like, the parents tell them to not to do it, but then if they do it again, like, when they're older, they already know that they shouldn't do it. So I think they shouldn't get warnings. <laughs> they shouldn't get warnings? But let me ask no. you something. If you're a teacher in a preschool, right, and you had a little kid that kept misbehaving and they didn't listen to you and you told them the first time and the second time and the third time and then the fourth time, and they still didn't listen to you, what kind of timeout would you give them? What would you do? Would you uh, make them sit in a corner? Would you uh, send them out of the room to the office? Um, what kind of timeout would you do? Um, I would design a spot, and then the timeout should always happen in the same place. For oh, a- children ages 2 to 4, it's best to keep the timeout spot where you can keep an eye on them. Ideally, it should be a hall or a corner somewhere they can't get into mischief. Okay, also, never okay. lock your child in a room as that is scary for a child. Yes, it is. It is, absolutely. Now, what about when they get you as big as you? You're nine, right? You're going to be nine or you're nine, right? I'm eight years old. Eight years old. So what about someone like you who's eight years old? If I put you in the hall or in a corner, you're going to be running up and down, right? Yes. <laughs> so what should I do to you? Um, what do you think works maybe for you? Maybe send me to the office or like oh, send you to the office. Put me somewhere because I I I will I listen to my parents when they give me a timeout. They do. I okay, stay great. There well, you have always shared and always brought some very good information. So thank you so much, Ashmit, and for those who've just tuned in, you're listening to Genius Kids on Air, and of course we bring you the best shows on the best radio station. And for those who'd like to get information on Genius Kids, you're actually listening to our guru, Ashmit, who's been with us since he was a toddler, and now he's eight years old. And uh, give us a call at 510-713-2431 or GeniusKidsOnline.com, and we'll be right back after these messages to listen and speak to Ritvik and Simran. Shreya, how come you are always so relaxed in class and so confident? Yaar, you read so well. What do you eat? Akil, eat? Well, let's say some of my brain food comes from Genius Kids. Call Genius Kids today, celebrating a new center on Mission Boulevard in Fremont. Call 510-659-9900 for a free trial class in preschool, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, after school, or public speaking. Call 510-659-9900. Welcome back, and for those who've just tuned in, this is Genius Kids on Air. You probably figured that out because you're listening to all these smart kids, and they can only come from one place, and that is Genius Kids on Air. Our curriculum is based on interactive recipes that incorporate the essential ingredients for success, which are critical thinking, public speaking, and language development skills in every aspect, unlocking the gates to a child's love for learning. And you just heard Ashmit, who's been with us since the age of two and he's now eight years old, and you heard him speak, you heard him uh, present his tech guru tips, as well as share his own views on how kids should get time out. And on that note, let us now listen to Ritwik. Ritwik is a student at San Ramon campus, and during summertime, he was asked to write a story by his teacher, Mishina, and he's been invited to share this story on air. Hi, Ritwik, how are you? Hi, Ms. Renu. How are you doing? I'm great. Good. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad to have you on our show. Are you excited? 
Yes. Good. So let me ask you, Ritwik, tell everyone how old you are. I'm eight years old. Okay, and which school do you go to, Ritwik? I go to Hidden Hills. You go to Hidden Hills in San Ramon. So you want to give a call out to all your friends at Hidden Hills? Say hi to them. Hi. Okay. Now let me ask you a question. Hi, (laughs) everybody. What did you just say? Sorry? Hi, everybody. Yes, hi, everybody. So, Ritwik, what is your story about? Let's go ahead and have you read the story out. I heard you wrote a wonderful story. It was very creative. So begin. Journey to the Desert. Sam was so excited to go on an adventure to the desert. He was getting ready to go there. He brushed his teeth. He put on his adventure clothes, but he put on the wrong shoes. Those were the only shoes he had. Then somebody rang the doorbell. It was his friend, Fred. He had Sam's adventure shoes. I heard that you were going to the desert, Sam, and you need your adventure shoes said Fred. Sam said, thanks, Fred. Fred said, you're welcome. Sam put on his adventure shoes and started his adventure. First, Sam went to Dragonville, the home of the dragons. Sam didn't notice he was close to a dragon behind him. Suddenly, the dragon roared and started chasing Sam. Sam went in the bushes, but the dragon still chased him. He went into the cave, but the dragon still chased him. Sam saw Fred lying to him, but Sam hid in the bushes. Quick as a wink, Fred used his super breath to find Sam. Then he used his super strength to defeat the dragon, but an ultimate dragon came. Then Super Fred used his super trap to trap the ultimate dragon. Sam and Super Fred went out of Dragonville. The dragons chased them again. All the way into Dinoville. They were not in Dinoville yet, but it was fun. Sam and Fred went into Dinoville. Suddenly, a dinosaur started chasing Sam and Fred. Fred used his super strength to defeat the dinosaur, but that didn't work. Fred transformed into Ultimate Fred. Ultimate Fred used his ultimate strength to defeat the dinosaur, and he did. An ultimate dinosaur started chasing Sam and Fred. Fred used his ultimate strength but that didn't, to defeat the ultimate dinosaur, but that didn't work. Then Ultimate Fred turned into Mega Fred. Mega Fred used his mega feet to defeat the ultimate dino, and he did. Finally, Sam and Fred built a sand castle at the desert. I'm done, Mr. Rainu. My gosh, you have such a wonderful imagination. I didn't know you were done. I was already imagining all this, the mega and the, oh, my God, that was a fabulous story. Ritwik, where did you get this idea from to write the story? I got it from my brain. You got it from your brain. I know you got it from your brain, but what made you think of this? You've used such amazing, fabulous words, and you've carried your story, and there's just a whole flow to it. I mean, I was just like, wow. That's Thank you, Do you do a lot of reading? Do you read a lot of Thank books? You. Hello? Thank you, Miss Rainu. <laughs> oh, I know, thank you, but let me ask you a question. You haven't answered my question. Do you read a lot of books? Yes, Miss Rainu. Yes, I know you do. You're fabulous. Well, I'm very proud of you. That was a fabulous story. And for those who just listened, this is Ritwik from Hidden Hills, and he's attending our Genius Kids Summer Camp. And his teacher, Miss Sheena, had asked him to write a little story for a competition to be featured on the radio, and that's Ritwik. So if anyone out there would like to share something that like Ritwick has got, then do give me a call at 510-713-2431, and we'll be sure to share your story on air. And on that note, let's move on to our next speaker, Miss Simran from Pleasanton. Hi, Simran. Hi, Miss Radu. How are you? I'm good. Good. How are you? Okay. You're in Pleasanton, right, or are you in Dublin? Which one? I always forget. Dublin. Dublin. And tell everyone how old you are and what school you go to. 
I'm eight years old, and I go to Doherty Elementary. Wow. You want to give a call out to your friends? Do you want to say hello to anyone in particular? Yes. Hello, everybody. Good. When well, those who have just tuned in, that's Simran calling from Dublin, and she's only eight years old, and she's going to read her story. So go ahead, Simran. Let's begin. The Christmas tree. Charlie was doing his homework with Chris at his house. Chris asked Charlie for a snack. Charlie said, get one from the counter. Chris went to get a snack while Charlie was stuck on a problem. Chris came back with crumbs all over his lips. He said, I have to go to swimming class, and he left. When Charlie finished his homework, he ate dinner. Then he went to sleep. The next day, Chris did not come to school. He was missing the whole week. Charlie was worried. He called Chris. He did not answer. Charlie went to Chris's house. Chris was playing basketball outside. Charlie asked him, why didn't you come to school? He said that he was on vacation. Charlie asked, why didn't the teacher tell us? Chris said, I told the teacher not to. Why did you do that? I wanted to trick you, replied Chris. The end. Excellent. Is this story over? Yes. Okay, so let me ask you something, Simon. Why did you pick this story? Why did you think of this story? Because in some stories I've read before, there was a problem like somebody was missing or kidnapped, so I got the idea from those books. That's wonderful. So do you feel that reading a lot of books gives you a lot of creative ideas for your story? Yes. You do. Okay, great. Well, I'm very, very proud of you, Simon. You did a fabulous job. And is this the first time you've been on the radio? Yes. Yes. And were you excited? Yes, I was very excited. Really? That's very good. Is your little sister out there, Amrit? Yes. Is she sitting next to you? Have her say hello to me. She's not sitting next to me. She's downstairs. Oh, she's downstairs. You're sitting up there quietly. Well, give her my love, and it's been wonderful having you on the show, and I look forward to having you again. And for those who've just tuned in, this is Genius Kids On Air, and you have enjoyed a show presented to you by eight-year-olds. We had Ashtit, of course, our tech guru, and then a very creative story about dragons from Ritwik in San Ramon, and, of course, a story about a Christmas tree from Simran in Dublin. And on that note, I'm going to be wrapping up and my, sh- my next uh, segment is a little segment that I'm introducing called Bedtime Stories. Enjoy, and until next week, have fun. Are you confused and tired of trying so many centers and not being able to find the right fit for your child? Maybe you need a fun and rich summer camp or an after-school program that offers academics, sports, dance, music, acting, public speaking, arts and crafts all under one roof. And to add to the icing on the cake, a cute real school bus that can pick and drop off your child to and from school, home or genius kids. Would you like to enjoy delicious home-cooked meals like yummy aloo parathas, creamy vegetable galore kitchari, fresh fruit salad and lots more? Maybe you have a child with ADD, dyslexia, autism who needs an extra special attention. Maybe you have a middle school or high school who needs to learn the ropes of speech and debate. Maybe you have an infant, toddler or preschooler that you would like to enroll. 
Well, where could you find this wish list? Of course, there are tons of preschools and after-school programs, but let me ask you, how many of them have been featured on CNNMoney.com as the most innovative educational concept? How many of them have been nominated Best of the Bay by Crown 4 Television? How many of them have been featured nationally and globally for their success? Only one, and that is Genius Kids, an independent award-winning learning center founded on the philosophy of never too little to learn, a simple belief that every child is a genius, and as educators and parents, it is our responsibility to wake the inner genius in each child. Call us today with campuses in Fremont, Ardenwood area, Central Fremont, Mission San Jose, Fremont, right across from Maloney College, and a new location opening right next to Fremont Park Station and in Newark, as well as San Ramon. We are here to offer you that extra special attention. However, due to an overwhelming response, please call us only if you want the best and nothing but the best for your child, since we will settle for nothing less than that. Call 510-713-2431. That's 510-713-2431 or visit GeniusKidsOnline.com. Let 
बट जींस पहन के शर्ट के ना होश बटन के बजते हैं सब सुर धड़कन के दिल क्या करे is called the lion and the rabbit from the series of stories called panchatantra panchatantra are a collection of five volumes of stories written by a guru or teacher to instruct kings on how to run their kingdoms similar to getting advice the five volumes together serve as a guide for prospective kings to help them on ruling their kingdoms to choose fellow friends fellow ministers and to have a good conduct in their daily lives This collection of stories in the Panchatantra are great for kids and adults to learn important life lessons and morals. So let's begin. A long time ago, there lived a very mean lion in this jungle. The lion was bossy and scared all the other animals in the forest. He was extremely greedy and used to kill every animal that walked past him. <coughs> the 
The animals in the jungle used to shake in fear of him, and nobody could even go to the river for a drink of water. One day, the animals in the jungle decided they needed to do something. The animals gathered and decided to approach the lion. Mr. Lion. How about instead of killing one of us every day, we just send an animal to you to eat? In this way, you get to eat something different and have a variety menu. Hmm. Hmm. Thought the lion. What a good idea! So every day it was the turn of one animal. Every day a different animal would go to get eaten by the lion. Soon there were very few animals left. One day, it was the turn of the rabbits. The rabbits chose an old rabbit amongst them, but this old rabbit was a very wise rabbit. He decided to take his own sweet time to go to the lion. The lion was getting impatient on not seeing any animal and swore to kill all the animals the next day. Finally, the rabbit landed by the lion's cave at sunset. The lion was angry at him, but the wise rabbit was calm and slowly told the lion, "It is not my fault. There was a group of rabbits coming to me, and on the way, another angry lion attacked them and ate all of them. So you know what? I had to take some time to run to safety. I am sorry I was late." What? Another lion ate another group of rabbits," said the bossy lion. He was challenged by the supremacy of another lion. He was, of course, very enraged and asked to be taken to the location where the other lion was. The wise rabbit agreed and led the lion towards a deep well filled with water. So, show me where is the other lion? There he is," said the rabbit. And he showed the lion his reflection in the water of the well. The lion was so furious he started growling, and naturally its image in the water moved. And the other lion in the reflection also looked equally angry. The bossy lion jumped into the water to attack the other lion, and of course lost his life in the well. Thus, the wise rabbit saved the forest and all the animals from the proud bossy lion. Now, the moral of this story is: intelligence wins over might. In other words, just because you are strong in muscles does not mean you are smart. And on this note of wisdom, hope you enjoyed the story. Do rate it and share it with your friends. I am Miss Wenu signing off. Until next time, have a great day. As parents, I ask you, why do you work so hard? Hopefully, to give the best to your kids. Why do we have kids? To continue our family legacy and as a symbol of love between mum and dad. Then why do parents shop and hunt for the cheapest learning center instead of the best learning center? After all, you know you pay for what you get. So if you are a parent listening to this message and you are seeking a fun, effective, productive learning center for your child, be it ages three months to twelve years old, and you want the best and nothing but the best, and are willing to pay for it, then give us a call. That's Genius Kids at five one zero seven one three two four three one. At Genius Kids, we believe that moral growth is as important as education and academics. Our curriculum is an ongoing process that will develop core life skills that spans the course of your child's lifetime. We focus on character building, public speaking, with effective communication in everything we do, so the habits and beliefs of moral intelligence are instilled in your children to become their ethical foundation. After all, this moral intelligence will greatly decide your child's moral destiny and become their greatest legacy. 
So if you believe in what I just said, then you are the kind of parent we seek at Genius Kids. Coming soon to Dublin and Newark with over six centres in Fremont, we believe in quality and not quantity. So give us a call at 510-713-2431. That's 510-713-2431. Or visit www.geniuskidsonline.com. Want to hear some amazing kids oozing with confidence? Tune in every Thursday night right here on KLOK 1170 AM at 8 PM to enjoy Genius Kids on Air. Featured on CNNMoney.com for our award-winning curriculum for kids. Visit GeniusKidsOnline.com for more information. Little genius. I'm the little genius kid.